Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today we're standing in this awkwardly bright spot to compare the Volux Sysma Z4, uh, one of our favorite wash fixtures, moving head washes for a while, versus the Martin Era 150 wash. Let's dive in. We've got reviews on both of these. In fact, with the Sysma, we went around to a second time to it. But here today, I want to compare these two fixtures for you. Really give a solid, good comparison of me sitting down with both of these fixtures and spending some good time really delving into them to really compare to you how they work and how to pick one if you're looking for a moving wash fixture. Um, not only that, if you're looking at other fixtures as well, this will help you with that. When we start with the physical, it's pretty obvious that you can see it on camera, you can see it in person. The Martin Aero 150 is a good bit smaller and tighter than the Volex Sysma. Okay, it's uh, similar in size to the ADJ Focus Flex L7 as well. I think the Martin's even a little smaller than the Flex though, honestly, that we can flash on screen if I'm wrong. And so that's the first thing. Number two in the physical is fan noise, and of course the hazer just kicked in. But, if I listen to the Sysma, listen to the Era, there's really no competition. When you get both of them with their fans at full, the Era is significantly quieter, at, rated at a 37 dB, and you can set the fans into a constant theater mode. They get you down to like 31 dB at one meter, which is crazy really quiet so just in the physical you've got of course the volux beating the martin in price by a little but get a quote from us you never know and uh, how big the difference is going to be till you get it quoted and the martin the plastics are a little bit nicer feel a little bit better both use true one plugs uh, noitrix on the martin citronics on the volux um, if that matters to you and five pin dmx in and out and the martin features rdm the volux does not i don't believe and they both have lcds and buttons i like the actual physical buttons on the martins a little better i've never been a huge huge fan of the lcd type buttons that don't depress when you press them they're just kind of on the glass and they're like a touch sensitive button but at the same time a lot of manufacturers are going to them and you know they're fine so let's talk about output Okay, because this is where things get interesting. So the Martin, and I talk about this all the time on this channel, if you haven't heard me say this before. Um, the Martin is a 7 by 40 watt LED RGBW. The Volux Sysma is a 7 by 60 watt. That doesn't mean that the Volux is brighter, okay? It's not necessarily 20% brighter. So let's talk about it. So first things first, we've got them shining up on our side wall here. Both fixtures, okay, so we've got, no, oh, should break them apart a little. So we've got the Volux there, we got the Martin there. So Martin on the left, Volux on the right, okay. And I've taken them and just by hand manually, taken the Martin to full at its highest color temperature, and then I've taken the Sysma and I've dialed it in to a similar color. Why? Well, the Sysma at full, I'm just going to show you right now, full full, is very pinkish right and you can see the difference here very clearly in person and i think it's coming across on camera pretty well too right the, the volux you know very typical of kind of a less expensive light it's going from highest output right the martin on the other hand is more calibrated and, and so when you bring it up full to white you get a really nice white out of the light it looks great let's just go ahead and look at a few colors on both fixtures so i'm gonna go ahead to red Okay, you know, when I look at them on red, I would say, well, I mean, they're not at equidistance, though. We'll make them equidistant. They look really comparable. Okay, green. I think the Martin might be winning out on this one a little. Let me make them a little more equidistant. They are both at their full zoom right now. Blue. Okay, they look very similar. And then white, well to bring it to full for white for both of them and we mentioned how that looks i went ahead before this video and, and in my comparison between these two fixtures and we went ahead and measured i'm just going to face these at you guys we went ahead and measured these two lights measured their brightness in foot candles at a variety of zoom ranges and in a variety of colors and here's what we found at full white which is what you're seeing here right and we go 100% narrow. There's actually some interesting differences between the beams of these lights that I do want to show you really quick. So let me just go ahead and take them both and tilt them down. 
other down. I don't know how well this shows up in the video, but the beam on the Martin looks identically as narrow as the beam on the Sisma, though the actual spec is a little bit different. That's pretty typical. But the Martin is a nice, smooth, even circle. The Volux is what you see a lot of times. You can kind of see the individual lens outline, some color fringing. It's not bad. It just kind of is what it is. It's not quite as good looking as the Martin fixture. And what we found in these two fixtures is that between the two of them, at narrowest and at widest, the Martin beat out the Volux Sisma. Um, either very, very equal or just slightly ahead. At the middle zoom range, the Sisma was ahead a little bit. And when I say ahead, I'm saying not this white, but our calibrated white where they were actually matching. At fullest white, yeah, the Sisma is about 20% brighter. Okay, not massive, but not as much as the wattage would leave you to believe, but there is a difference there. Let's go ahead and tilt them out to you and look at the zoom here. So if we, whoops, tilted them the wrong way. So if we tilt them out towards you guys, like we did, what was I doing? I don't know. Uh, so we're just going to manually tilt them, tilt them out towards you guys. And we can see um, really well that um, at the narrowest zoom, honestly, let me just put them both towards the camera so it's fairly equal. I think the Martin looks a little punchier. It's a little brighter on camera, a little bit punchier. And if we go to wide, we're going to see something similar in terms of zoom speed between narrow and wide. Again, a very similar zoom range. Um, we're going to see the Martin gets there quicker every time. It's a faster zoom. But in the middle, both of them look really good to the eye. I would say the Sisma is a little bit brighter at the center, but the Martin's uh, a really better color. And so if I go back actually to my Sisma and I dial that color back in roughly, so we're going to minus red a good bit and minus blue a good bit. We get them pretty close to matching. Okay, just like that. Brightness wise, they're real close. They're real close at the center. I would say the Sisma is probably ahead a little bit and a measurement will back that up. The Martin's a little bit softer on the edges, but overall they both look really, really good. Okay, uh, let's look at movement speed. So in terms of movement speed, um, we're gonna see here that the Martin has a little bit more range it moves a little bit quicker, which makes sense. It's a smaller, lighter fixture um, and, you know, a little bit more uh, cost to it, too. OK, but you can see here um, they both move quite fast. The Martin's just slightly ahead. Now we'll do the pan test. Um, the Martin beats the Sisma by actually a good bit there. Um, and so if we go ahead and throw them into some movement. Let's start dialing up the speed. The Martin is just kicking the butt of the Sisma Z4 from Volux. So, where does that bring us with these two lights? Both of these lights are wash lights that I like a lot. Okay, they're really good. There's positives to both. There's winners in both situations. The Sisma, great fixture, uh, incredible price for what you get. Really nice light. OK, but if you're looking for something that's really quiet, that's not going to add any noise to your room, that has a little bit more punchiness, a little faster movement speed, you may want to look at the Martin Era 150. It's a really, really nice wash unit. And just comparing it to the other things we have in our arsenal, the other things in the market, it's a really, really nice wash unit for the money. And I think if it matters to you that the fan noise be quiet, that it be a little more compact, that it move a little bit quicker. If those kind of abilities matter to your application, then I would definitely take a look at the Aero 150, get it quoted from us. We love to help. And uh, if you liked this video and this comparison, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear by Above AVL. We would love to help you find your next piece of gear, whether it's this or anything else. Not only do we do lights, but we've got audio stuff. We keep adding more and more brands and we're excited to help you. So if you like stuff like this, buy from us because that's what makes this happen. Um, and we would love to honestly be able to help you find the best fit for your needs, get that personalized price and make that purchase. So come over to Above AVL, LearnStageLightingGear.com today and we will help you. We'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.